amigos. Oh my god, we are on air. Bienvenidos, we are here sharing with you our Hispanic musical heritage and opera. This is Opera en tu Sofá. We have a guest today. Her name is Lupita Paz. She's a local artist. And um, it's so nice to see you, Lupita. Bienvenida, oh. bienvenida al programa. Muchas gracias, Andrea. Thank so you I, so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I just want to say that we are here outdoors in this patio and, uh, you know, in this maintaining this adequate distance between us and just really enjoying being together. So tell us, Lupita, ¿quién eres? ¿Qué haces? <laughs> bueno, mi nombre es Guadalupe Paz. Soy mezzo soprano. Uh, I was born in Tijuana uh, and now I call San Diego my home. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you're a mezzo soprano. Yeah. So do you sing here? Do you sing in Mexico? What? I know? mostly sing in Mexico, uh, Mexico City, actually. And and I have started to uh, do collaborations with San Diego Opera, which is for me very thrilling, and, and I'm very happy to do so. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Now, um, so tell me, what what do you like singing? Are you an operatic singer only, or do you have you do like other things, or what's the story? Here? <laughs> well, I'm mainly an operatic singer. I started singing um, sacred uh, music uh, for uh, for choir. I was uh, in a children's choir uh, since I was four years old. So I love. Wow! I love. <laughs> Cantabas desde los cuatro años. Wow. Desde los cuatro años. Um, so I love that part of also of music, uh, the sacred uh, music, choral music. But I also think, in my case, mm -hmm. um, you fell in love with whatever you are singing or you're studying. Okay. Uh, it happened to me that I, I sing Baroque music and I love it. I sing Rossini, which is my favorite composer ever. Oh. <laughs> um, I sing contemporary music. Uh, I have a project that we were, we're going to be talking about it. and. I think the singers must learn to love whatever they they are studying or they are uh, putting their souls and their singing and their instrument into. That's great. Mm -hmm. So listen now, uh, tell us what are we going to listen now because you're going to sing for us. Yes, so the first piece is going to be by Carlos Guastavino, he's an Argentinian composer and the song is Pampa Mapa. Pampa Mapa. Mapa. Okay, by Guastavino. There you are.
with that beautiful music. I mean, it's such a pleasure. Es, es una música muy sentida. Uh, you, you feel this music really, really profound in your heart. I'm, I'm very impressed by this composer. Yes, I love it. I, I, I love the percussive part of the piano. Uh -huh. uh, I think it's, it's amazing. The, yeah, uh, very the melody, very, very, as you say, very tender. Um, una melodía muy uh, especial, muy sentida. Uh -huh. Pero también la parte del piano, ¿no? Percusiva. Entonces creo que hace una excelente combinación. Yeah, the piano part was like percussion playing. Yeah, and well. we have a great pianist too. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me now, uh, what has been the role of San Diego Opera in your life, please? Wow, well, San Diego Opera is like a dream come true. <laughs> I was at the first opera that I, I can't remember I attend was... Um, like Rappaccini. Rappaccini's daughter by <laughs> my husband, Daniel Catan. Yes, that's incredible. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I cannot either. I cannot believe it. Um, and that was in the 90s. I was maybe like 11 years old yeah. or so. Mm -hmm. um, now you know my age. <laughs> and um, I enjoyed it. It was something very different from whatever I was expecting. Because of the music or because you saw an opera like sang in Spanish? That must have had I think some both. kind of impact. I think both, okay. yeah. And and then seeing myself like being on stage at San Diego Opera is like a dream come true. So uh, it has been a very fortunate um, that I call San Diego my home and now I can get to collaborate with the Opera House. So here. I remember that last year you were singing in Carmen. Right? Yes. Uh, wh what were you singing? In Carmen? I was singing you Mercedes, the role uh -huh. of Mercedes in Carmen, and, and it was very, very a great experience. Uh, Carmen was an amazing mezzo, and I learned a lot. Obviously, that's the dream role for every mezzo soprano, and and I just cannot wait to 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 be a Carmen. So <laughs> this year, are you gonna sing in which one of the operas that we are going to present? Yeah. So I was invited to sing for. Suor Angelica. Oh, yes. And beautiful. just taking a look at the cast for me was like, wow, I, I cannot wait to start Amazing. rehearsals and, and seeing also some Puccini because Puccini was very, uh, <laughs> un poco tacaño con las mezzos. <laughs> he didn't love the mezzos. But so he didn't write too much for the mezzos. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, I, you know, I, uh, being a Latin person, a Hispanic woman, I am very happy that you are collaborating with us that you are here sharing your talent with San Diego Opera and the community so thank you for that no, now break. going to to being a Latin person I would like to ask you how do you feel or how do you embody a Latin woman in, in this country or in this moment what, what is that for you I think now we're living a very fortunate moment for, for Latin people. For Latin people. Uh -huh. um, I have. I am a firm believer that America is the country that you can achieve whatever you want. So I feel 21st century must be the best century to live um, because now we have a voice. Latinos have a voice, and you're an example of that. You're at San Diego Opera, no, and yes. that's amazing. <laughs> and and as a Latina in in San Diego, I also feel very privileged to be able to sing at the opera. I also find my position very um, privileged or very happy or fortunate because living in the border, I can go to Tijuana or go to Mexico and become a producer. I can sing whatever I want to sing. I produce my own concerts. Um, and then I come to San Diego, which is everything is very established. And I can sing in, at, at the San Diego Opera or sing for the Palm Springs Opera Guild. So I have the best of both, both worlds. That's amazing, that's great. I, I do feel the same thing as you. I think we have a moment right now and we do have a voice and not only in the arts but in uh, the, any other segments in, in society and in activities. Mm -hmm. um, so what are you going to sing now? Uh, I hear that you're going to sing a 20th century composer. Who's oh, this? I love him. Uh, this is Javier Monsalvage and he's a Spaniard composer. Um, what I'm singing is uh, the first movement of a um, Ciclo de Canciones Negras. A cycle of uh, black songs. Of black songs. And the name of it is Cuba Dentro de un Piano. 
Cuba, so Cuba inside of a piano. Yes. Wow, amazing, very poetic. Let's yes. listen to this. Yeah. this music this music has all this influence of the african percussion flavor a bit of jazz but truly i i feel the island i feel cuba in this in this music uh, I'm, I'm very impressed <laughs> 
Yes, absolutely. I love to sing this because it's uh, you can sing like like opera, but has some jazz style in it so it's it's wonderful to sing and you can have a, another color in your voice to sing because it's like very mellow very um habanera style you know yeah. so I, I love it yeah thank you thank you for <laughs> choosing this 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 one song um i wanted to ask you um very important this new collaboration that you're gonna do with us and it's the premiere for the premiere of the last dream of um, Frida and Diego mm -hmm. and this is based in Frida Kahlo and um, Diego Rivera it is a, a commission of San Diego Opera the new commission and Lupita Paz is going to be singing the role of Frida so I would like to ask her um, what do you feel what's your role how exciting <laughs> it is super exciting I, I'm thrilled to sing this uh, to portray um, a Mexican icon as is Frida it's all it's almost a pop icon yes um, and I love the fact that it's an artist and is sung with an art an opera uh, an opera I mean an art form that is mm. opera mm -hmm. so it can withdraw people that love her yes. and not, not exactly because they love opera but because they love Frida so they are maybe curious to hear it so I think that's an amazing collaboration doing a, um, something about uh, an artist, a Mexican artist. Of such stature. Um, the, the composing is by Gabriela Elena Frank and the libretto is by Nilo Cruz. And I think we are up for a big surprise. Yes. Um, so now, lastly, what are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing something that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the aria of Paula uh, from Florencia del Amazonas by... Daniel Catan. <laughs> so she's going to yes. sing the, the, the aria of Paula, which is uh, one of the women. There's uh, three women in this opera, and this is a, a woman that is married into, like, I think, a 30 year old marriage. And so she has this crisis, problems with her husband, but she loves her husband. So this is an aria of love. Thank you, Lupita. Thank you very much for, for, for sharing your art with us. On and the contrary, uh, thank you so much for allowing me to, to be here uh, with you and talking about my art or my, my experience in the opera and also as a Latina, as an artist in San Diego. Thank you. Thank you so Let's much. listen to this. Mi 
a perderme en ti. Quise entonces controlarte. Dejé que el orgullo me venciera. words, Lupita, so thank you, that's it bueno amigos, llegamos al final de nuestro programa, nos vemos la próxima, thank you so much friends, come to the next program we'll see you next time y hasta luego